Whew, man, it cold out there, dude. It's out there at four o'clock this morning, and there was no breeze or no wind or anything like that. It was like 22 degrees at four o'clock, man. And I was like, wow, man, it's not bad out here. And I'll tell you what, man, since the sun came up, the uh, wind has kicked up, and it's not a huge, excuse me, huge wind, probably five miles an hour or something. Dude, the wind chill back there out there now is flipping cold, man. So this morning, I'm getting ready to uh, want to get a video uh, on here. Got some things going on today that will probably take you along. Or I'll take the camera. I don't know if there'll be a lot to film, but we'll see. So I'll take you along with that. The sun's up now. As soon as I get this video loading, I'm going to go out and split some wood so that I can, so that I have it. Because I don't know how long I'll be gone or anything like that. And been splitting. You know, I got plenty of wood, like I've said before. I just wish I got it bucked up and rounded up. Actually, the stuff that I'm splitting today is some that I'd bucked up. Stuff that was in the front of the pile. So I've been just dragging it over because I got the splitter set up underneath uh, in the tool crib there. Plus, get you out of the wind and everything like that. But I already have some rounds pulled over there, so I'm gonna split those up before we go. Uh, what else I got going on today, man? Um, dude, my flipping hands are freezing right now. It is a uh, what is it in here, man? Only 54 in here, dude. Dang! Got that uh, just rocket stove. That that stove, man. I've been over. Over at the cook shack drinking coffee, man. I just came over here and warmed this up over here. Last night, um, you know, I talk, talk, I go to sleep listening to different podcasts and um, history, you know, stories, uh, different kinds of stuff, but I listen to different stuff as I go to sleep, man, and to help, you know, to help all these thoughts mellow out. So I listen to stuff and you know, I'll check old Joe Rogan's. Uh, like I said, I got a love-hate relationship, man. Freaking more, more than anything, I like the people that he interviews, man. He, I think he's pretty self-righteous. and um, You know, he's his own biggest fan and all that. And it's kind of a hypocrite on some things. And something that he says today, um, or last night, or yesterday's thing, or whatever, uh, was a little bit... <laughs> hypocritical from what he was saying a few days ago and a lot of times what I'll do like this one uh, I can't remember what the dude's name is it'll say when I come I'll play this one little part for you but um, I think it's the guy that wrote or yeah the guy that wrote the Hurt Locker which is an excellent movie and you know it starts off the, at the beginning of the podcast what I'll do on his podcast a lot of times man is I'll just fast forward through it you know and see if they touch on anything that interests me and actually there was, you know, the middle part of the podcast was okay, man, that's what I listened to. And then I switched it over and I couldn't go to sleep. I mean, it was enough that I ended up having to change it because I wasn't going to go to sleep listening to it, especially after his comment about homesteading and stuff. So I'm going to play this for you so you can listen to it and then I'll, then I'll talk about it. I, gotta keep, I think I got it queued up here. I think it's to evolve and for technology to advance. And what's up, Miss Kitty? On air light on. Yeah, on air. I need to get one of those actually. Yeah, Dang, yeah. look at you. Come on over here. <laughs> you going? Yep. She's going to town. You should be like in the jungle by myself. Well, I don't should, necessarily I think it even has it. to be that different, yeah. but it could be like homesteading. It could be like people that, you know, make their own bullets. Right. You know, because there's right. a lot of that. There is a lot of that. Yeah, I mean, it could be people that just are, they, they, they prefer uh, subsistence living, which people really do. You know, that's like life below zero and all those people that live in modern times that is subsistence hunt. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people that do that because they have no choice. There is, but there's also a lot of people who do it because they have a choice, because they've lived the well, other I'm way and they don't like, like the world. Yes, you know, 
where which is what like you know there's so much poverty out there it's hard to yes it's hard to um keep that in mind because america is like the wealthiest country in the world also the most guns and also the most religious are we the most religious yeah really anyway man i just had to freaking touch on that a little bit because for one thing man you know money person man mr hollywood and all that, both of them actually, man, they're constant homesteading. Um, make their own bullets. <laughs> Freaking Jesus. <laughs> oh, so naive. And then the part that, uh, um, to make your own make your, they make their own bullets. <laughs> uh, the part that, and then the other part where I was saying he's pretty much a hypocrite is he mentions life below zero i had the producer life below zero right outside this window did an interview thing with us and just here i don't know man less than a week ago he had a gal on his show man it was a very interesting podcast and actually man i gave kudos to joe on that one because the gal i can't remember her name man it's a good one um she's a beekeeper and started doing a youtube thing man or starting, no, she isn't doing YouTube. She's doing a uh, TikTok, I think. And then she got like, uh, oh, man, I can't even remember, million or millions of uh, views just in a 24-hour period. Man, it's just, just skyrocketed, you know. And of course, all the producers from all these shows, you know, are um, getting a hold of her and everything like that. And Joe. Rogan, man, told him, man, don't let them in. It's in your thing, man. Do your own, you know, gave her the advice, man. Just do your own thing. And I think it convinced her and stuff, you know. Do your own stuff, you know, because it's all fake, man. They make you do this. They make you do that. It's all a bunch of crap, all that stuff. So, man, I was like, woo, kudos. And then he turns around in this one and, you know, like life below zero. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Yeah, man, those people on life below zero are living that life. The people on Mountain Man, you know, or Mountain Men or whatever, are living that. Um, then we had, you know, this has been years ago, you know, back, I don't know how long it's been since the last, I think the last producer, when the Life Below Zero guy, actually one of the producers or whatever he was, from Life Below Zero, when he came here, man, I think that was probably... I don't know, probably seven years ago, something like that. And then we also had the people from Mountain Man contact us. And Mountain Man, dude, they're dictating to me. You know, I hadn't even said I was interested in doing their damn show, and they're dictating to me what I'm going to do and how I'll have to play up on this and do this and all that. And I'm like, dude, I'm not interested in doing your show. What? What? You know, so, you know, I don't... We still get... Um, they go to spam, but uh, you know, and if you watch my videos, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, man. If you look back, I'm pretty sure the last interview I did, I think it's been it was a Canadian company, and I did it on video, you know, or filmed us, and we did a video call. I'm pretty sure that was during the pandemic, so in the last two years, two, two and a half years, did a man, nice gal, man. Man, we've met some nice people, man. Uh, the first you know, if you go back on my videos, you can see the one that uh, Ty did, Tiberius. He came, and man, he went fishing with us, and we did, you know, that's one. There's a, you can tell it's a Hollywood done one that I didn't make on, you know, our videos if you go back. If I think about it, I'll put the link down. It's a pretty man, awesome video. And we've actually been paid a couple of times, man. Got, you know, a few thousand dollars. And that one we figured was just kind of like shut up money, man. Because <laughs> they didn't really want us, but they didn't want anybody else to want us either. But after our experience with, I don't know, a half dozen probably, man, that we've, you know, we've had, we've been... Ty came, we were actually still, we hadn't even found the creek bottom then, so that was ten years ago. And then, I think we've had two producers on here and have done, I don't know, two or three, four uh, Skype things or whatever the heck they're called. Um, so, man, we've had our experience, but, man, talking to them. Man, the one that we did, we actually did the interview, and they wanted to interview all of us. Me and Kitty, I forgot about this one. And we were actually at Kara's place is where we did the 
because we did the service here, the internet service, and she had another place where she had better internet service, so we did a, all of us, man, me, Kitty, and all our kids did an interview, just like I'm sitting here, you know, basically like this, and for, they get to car and stuff, and um, then they start, like, coaching her as she's doing this interview, so, you, so you're, the, you're the hunter of the family, you're the one that brings in the meat. And Cara's like, well, no, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, like trying to put us each in different categories. And Ty told us, man, um, Tiberius, the first, that's the first producer that ever, I still, we got him on my Facebook or whatever the heck we got, you know, so I still, we still like each other and stuff, you know, or like each other's pictures and different things like that. Don't talk to him. I haven't talked to him in years. He switched companies. But anyway, he told us that, uh, because they're, I've been mean, winning all this before, man. That the, they want conflict and they want drama, you know, the drama and all this different stuff. And he's all, dude, you, you and your kids, man, you have none of the, the stuff that a successful show, you know, to, to do that. Um, so the, you know, it's basically you're gonna have to make it up and stuff. And I'm like, dude, you're so you're, <clears throat> excuse me, so you're wanting us to pretend to be something we're not for a TV show, you know, and add the drama and all that, man, it's in Duck Dynasty, it's in all those, that's all that stuff, and man, there's so many people that just are engulfed by it, dude, and I enjoy a few of the shows and stuff, but I know it's all a bunch of horse shit, <laughs> you yeah, know, oh, man, you know, I watch, uh, The Mountain Man, I skip through, the only two people I really watch on Mountain Man, um, actually, man, the, the run of them now, uh, I'll put it on and listen to it, man, because I like the kid that chases the, I can't remember his name, the kid that chases the, the cougars, you know, he's, I like that kid, um, and then, uh, I've heard somebody else that's going to be on there next season, I won't say nothing, because I'm not supposed to let it out, but, so that ought to be interesting, but the main one that I watched, man, and I was following him as much as you could, man, See, for however long ago the book came out, uh, The Last Real Man or whatever is Eustace, man. I love Eustace. I've always loved Eustace. I'm pretty surprised that he ever even did the show. It's all about the money, man. The Eustace and Tom, man, are my two, you know, my favorite. But Eustace is my number one. He's the reason I even checked it out. And there's other ones, man. There's one that was called Woodsman. And then there was one over here in the... Was it the Woodsman? I think it's the Woodsman. That, uh, or they're in the Pacific Northwest and stuff, man. What a crock of crap. And then what's that one where they go up and find the, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, we don't have it in our area. Um, <laughs> dude, I can't remember the, the root, man. The, uh, um, tenure, uh, anyway, man, uh, Appalachia Outlaws or something like that. What a crock of crap, dude. There's so much fake stuff. So, man, if you're into those things, man, that's good, man. It's good entertainment. I guarantee, man. I watch, I do watch a few of them and stuff like that, man. You know, American Pickers, it's all bull bullshit, too, man. Dude, I sit there on American Pickers and watching them guys dig through the crap, and, dude, they are passing up so much stuff that's worth money that I've sold personally that... Holy crap. And that's what, it, when I was interested, I wouldn't do a TV show now. You know, for, uh, you know, obviously, man, I'd like my channel to get bigger and be doing it, but I'd want to just run my whole, I don't, you know, I am who I am, man. I ain't going to pretend to be nothing I ain't. And, uh, but I always, that was one of the things when I talked to the producers, I said, well, we're kind of like a cross between, uh, American Pickers and Mountain Men. <laughs> and, you know, it's a combination. Dude, I got the hiccups. So, anyway, I just had to touch on that. And that's him, uh, said, man, shoot. I was, some of the stuff, sometimes I like it, sometimes I'm just like, dude, I can't, you're so full of it. That it's the people, you know, the Graham, Graham uh, Hancock and all that. They're, uh, you know, I love that kind of stuff, man. Even this producer guy of the Hurt Locker, man, there was, you know, it was an interesting conversation, man. I'm always in for an interesting conversation. <laughs> But I'm going to go out here, man. I'm going to stoke up this fire, get my gloves on, go out here, get some uh, get some of that light below zero firewood split up, 
get after it so that we can go take care of the things we got to take care of. So please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Helps keep the lights on, the home fires burning, and then propane tanks. I think I got the propane tank in there going right now to try to help warm this mother up. And check out the links below and the t-shirts. see which one I got on today. I know he got, she just sent out, I think, man, the giveaway one, I think that shirt just came in Thursday. Which one do I got? Oh, my favorite one, man, my new logo. I'm not sure which one I got on. I got quite a few, but that's pretty much all I got for you, man. So check out that one, check out the eBay store. I got eBay, I was sitting here listing stuff as we were going. And actually, I might take you in. We're gonna hit one junk shop today that I haven't been in in months. I'm pretty sure it's open today, so we'll probably hit that. But other than that, uh, that's it, dude. It's a good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.